Buying a car is an extremely expensive endeavor, but did you know that the cost of buying a car can greatly vary from state to state? Not only does the cost of the actual car that you're buying vary from state to state, but so are things like the taxes, the operational cost, gas, insurance, and more. And all of these different factors of purchasing a car can vary quite dramatically depending on where you're located. So in this video, I'm going to be breaking down what states have the least and most expensive costs associated with buying and operating a vehicle. We're going to be talking about what these individual states and charges are, which states are least and most expensive, and at the end of the video, I'm actually going to be comparing vehicle listings in the most versus least expensive states so that you can see exactly how state dictates how much you're going to be paying for your car. So let's get started. Now we all know that purchase price needs to be taken into account whenever you're buying a used car. How much is that car going to cost you? But there are a slew of other factors to consider as well. Insurance, cost to operate, maintenance and repairs, taxes, all of these costs vary depending on where are located. Because of this, for example, northern states are much more prone to rust than southern states, and thus cars in the north don't have the same lifespan of vehicles in the south. Or even sales tax. For example, some states don't require sales tax, and in these states that don't have a car sales tax, you could potentially get anywhere between a 5 to 10 percent discount on your vehicle purchase compared to some states with higher sales tax. But let's dig into which states are actually cheaper or more expensive, and when analyzing this, we're going to look at a few pieces of criteria. We're going to be looking looking at average cost of a used car, sales tax, insurance, fuel and gas costs, as well as maintenance and repair costs. And the sources for all of these different types of data points will be linked down in the description below. The five most expensive states to buy a car, starting with number five, is South Dakota, which costs $37,192 for a used vehicle. North Dakota is number four, which costs $37,192. Montana, which costs $38,943. Alaska, which costs $40,602 and Wyoming, which is the most expensive state to buy a used car at $41,405. The states with the least expensive cars include Rhode Island at number five, which costs $32,789, Hawaii at number four, which I found to be very surprising at $32,381, Ohio at number three, which costs $32,267, followed by New Hampshire, which costs on average $31,883, and Vermont is the cheapest state to buy a used car at a purchase price of $31,445 on average. You can see the breakdown of the cost of a used car in ascending order, so starting from the cheapest to the most expensive here. Next is taxes, more specifically sales tax. Now whenever it came to making this video, taxes is something that I really struggled with because taxes can become tricky whenever it comes to talking about a used car. Because we of course have sales tax, which is applied at the state level, but is oftentimes also applied at the local level as well. So you may have a 0% state sales tax, but you may have a local sales tax, which means that even if you live in a 0% sales tax state, you're still going to have to pay that tax in some way, shape, or form. There are also states that have like a yearly property tax on your car, which while I know technically isn't sales tax, it really should be taken into account whenever we're talking about the overall cost of buying and upkeeping a car. But for the sake of not making this video too complicated, I made the decision to only take into account sales tax, so we're not going to be talking about local tax or property tax. The states with the lowest sales tax rate for vehicle purchases are Alaska, Montana, Oregon, Delaware, and New Hampshire, which all have a 0% state tax. The states with the highest tax rate are Indiana and Rhode Island, which have a 7% tax. In fact, Georgia, Tennessee, Indiana, and Rhode Island are all tied for the fifth highest tax rate of 7%. California and Illinois have a 7.25% tax rate, and Nevada has the highest tax rate of 8.25%. But how does this affect the overall purchase price of a car, and how much tax are you actually going to be paying if you buy the average used car in that state. Well, in Alaska, Montana, Oregon, Delaware, and New Hampshire, you're going to be paying zero dollars in tax because of the state tax of zero percent. Of course, we must take into account local tax as well, but we're going to negate that for this video for simplicity's sake. From a dollar perspective, Tennessee has the fifth highest tax rate of $2,426.06 paid for the average car, followed by Georgia, where you'll pay $2,521.12. Next is Illinois, where you'll pay $2,530 $35.23. California is the second most expensive, where you can expect to pay about $2,592.52. And the state where you will, on average, be paying the highest sales tax is Nevada, where you'll pay $2,875.86. You can see the amount that the sales tax is paid based on state and the amount in ascending order here. But 
of course, we also have to talk about insurance because while insurance is absolutely impacted by your personal record, how you drive, what car you're driving, even your credit score can impact your insurance rate, where you live also impacts your rate as well. So with that in mind, California has the fifth highest insurance cost of $2,110, followed by Delaware, which is $2,211, followed by Michigan with an annual insurance cost of $2,158. Louisiana is the second highest with $2,487 in annual insurance cost, and Florida is the highest vehicle insurance cost state with $2,517 in annual cost. While the states with the most affordable insurance include Indiana, which has an average annual cost of $1,184, Maine is next with an annual insurance cost of $1,122, next is Vermont with the cost of $1,102, Idaho is the second cheapest annual insurance cost of $1,052, and Ohio is the cheapest. Not only do they come below $1,000, but they're $996 in annual insurance cost. And you can see the order of total insurance costs by state, starting from the cheapest to the most expensive. We also have to take into account cost of gas and cost of driving. So how much does it cost to actually operate your vehicle not including the vehicle maintenance. Well, Indiana has the fifth highest cost for this category of $1,714, followed by New Mexico with $1,734. Arizona is number three on the list with $1,754, followed by North Dakota, which is the second most expensive state to drive in, $1,835, and Wyoming is surprisingly the most expensive state to drive and operate your vehicle in, in an astronomical $2,253. While on the flip side, the cheapest states for driving and operating a car, number five is Pennsylvania, with the cost of $1,164 annually, followed by New Jersey in number four spot with $1,153. Rhode Island is next and number three on this list with $1,051. Followed by Alaska in number two spot with $1,025. And New York is the lowest cost state for operating a vehicle, and that's $980. Now, I'm going to bet that so many people in New York City and the fact that they take so much public transportation is really swaying this New York statistic. But I'm not entirely sure how they came up with this number, whether it was based on total population or just vehicle owners. I'm not entirely sure on that front, but I was really surprised at New York coming in on the cheapest. Because I've been to New York State a few times, and I have always been hammered with tolls whenever I'm there, but maybe that's just where I'm going. And you can see the overall cost of driving in order by state here. Now, we have one more category to talk about before we talk about the averages of all of these categories combined, and this is annual repair cost. The states with the highest annual repair cost start out at number five with North Carolina with $403. Georgia is number four with $408. California number three at $416. Colorado just slightly above California at $417, and Connecticut is slightly above that at $418. But whenever it comes to the cheapest, Wisconsin is number five at $361, followed by Iowa and number four at $360, Michigan is in spot number three at $356, followed by Ohio with $354, and the cheapest state in the country whenever it comes to annual repair costs is $349. And that number one spot belongs to Maine, which has the cheapest repair costs associated with the average vehicle. And you can see how these states rank by repair costs here. And this brings us to what all of us have been waiting for, which is the overall cost of buying and operating a car in that first year, and which states are the most expensive ones to do this, and which ones are the cheapest. Now, the states with the cheapest cost of buying and operating a vehicle in the United States include Delaware is number five with a total cost of $36,805. Hawaii is number four, which again was incredibly surprising to me, and that comes in at $36,789.24. Vermont is number three at $36,432.69. Alabama is number two, coming in as the second cheapest at $34,794. And the cheapest state to buy and operate a car in the United States States is, drum roll, New Hampshire with an overall cost of $34,794. And so if you're somebody who's looking to buy and operate a vehicle in the most affordable, cost-effective way, then, well, New Hampshire probably is the right state for you. But let's move on to the more expensive states, and let's talk about the five states that are actually the most expensive for buying and operating a car in. And I think that the number one spot here is incredibly surprising, not only by what state it is, but also by how expensive it is as well. Number five on this list is California with a total cost of $42,500 
$1,845.52. Number four is Montana, which has a total cost of $42,754. North Dakota is next in the third highest cost with $43,156.65. Alaska is the second highest with $43,233. And the most expensive state to buy and operate a car is Wyoming with a total cost of $43,371.20. And you can see here the total cost in ascending order all the way from New Hampshire down to Wyoming. But to really take this comparison a leap further, I wanted to see exactly what this looks like in application. What do cars that are for sale in New Hampshire look like compared to cars that are for sale in Wyoming? So I looked at cars.com and I compared some identical vehicles. For example, we have this 2021 Ford Escape SE with about 17,000 miles, which is listed for sale for $22,791 in Wyoming. A nearly identical car, but in silver, is listed for sale in New Hampshire for $2,792 cheaper. These Toyota 4Runners here are pretty identically priced across the two states. And this 2021 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 LT Trail Boss with 22,103 miles listed for sale for $51,995 in Wyoming. Well, this identical trim, very similar mileage, but in white in New Hampshire is $46,964, $5,031 less for a nearly identical car in New Hampshire. So while the trends definitely point to the fact that if you are looking for the cheapest car possible, going to New Hampshire instead of Wyoming probably would be a best bet. There are some variables here that you need to take into account, like what car you're buying, the depreciation of the car that you're buying, and the overall demand of that car as well. I'm not surprised that a foreigner is pretty fairly priced across those two states, but it definitely is interesting to note. But there you have it, some of the overall costs associated with owning and buying a vehicle in the different states. So if you are somebody who is looking to buy a car the most affordable, cost-effective way as possible, possibly buying one out of state could be a good play. But you will, of course, want to do your due diligence whenever you're purchasing the vehicle. Like always, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, comments, if you have anything to add, I would love to hear it. So make sure to leave a comment down below. And while you guys are at it, make sure to hit the like button, hit that subscribe button, and hit the notification bell. And I will see you guys in the next video.